The investigation that led to the arrest of the suspect in this case was conducted last month. Police reportedly searched a residence and found crack cocaine and later arrested the suspect. During the arrest of the suspect, he was reportedly in possession of crack cocaine. The information on this case was released by authorities yesterday. The suspect remained in jail as of earlier today. Court dates are scheduled for later this month. 61-year-old Terry Lee Roseboro was arrested by Statesville police officers. He's charged with felony counts of trafficking in cocaine, possession with intent to sell and deliver cocaine, and maintaining a vehicle, dwelling, or place for controlled substance, along with a misdemeanor count of resisting a public officer. According to a news release issued yesterday, on December 11th of 2023, the Statesville Police Department executed a search warrant at an address on Alexander Street in Statesville. The search was conducted in response to community complaints regarding drug-related activity in the area. The department's narcotics division initiated surveillance on the residents and observed suspicious activities that raised concerns. An investigation was launched resulting in controlled purchases of narcotics being made from the residents. Police say they bought drugs specifically from Terry Lee Roseboro. During the search conducted December 11th, investigators discovered a substantial quantity of crack cocaine, which police say was connected to Roseboro. As a result of this operation, investigators obtained arrest warrants for Terry Lee Roseboro, stemming from the December 11th search. The Statesville Police Department continued its efforts December 28th when members of the department revisited the same Alexander Street address to execute the outstanding warrants on Roseboro. Upon finding and arresting him, officers reportedly found him to be in possession of additional crack cocaine. Roseboro was brought to the Iredell County Detention Center. He was being held there as of earlier today under $300,000 secured bond. District court appearances are scheduled for January 16th and January 22nd. Reporting for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood.